Welcome everybody back to Riley, North Carolina. I actually found out where the place was this time, where we are stationed, where we're dealing with things, and where we're in control of this NHL team. Now, I did this recording before, did a, you know, two months and whatnot, and uh, my HDPVR decided to be a whore, and was it HDPVR or was it Audacity? It was one of the two. It was one of the two that decided to be a whore and just fuck up the recording thank you for the mandatory saves that i make instead of the auto saves if i was relying off on auto saves you guys would see two months of things that never really happened on footage at least you know i can't really go a day hopefully today being one of those days where it doesn't happen but i can't really go a day without there being some kind of problem while i'm trying to record but that's just standard across the board for most commentators usually some kind of technical problem and such using because right now I'm doing like three different things, like I'm rendering, um, uploading, and I'm recording this while playing this game. So I'm doing like four different things at once, and yeah, so I just got done a player build video. Go, be sure to check that out. All er, <laughs> annotation on the screen right now for you guys to go check that out. Um, it's best for twos and threes if you guys play clubs, uh, club or OTP. Use the build if you're a winger and you want to be able to do, um, you know, get past the defenseman. But we're in GM mode right now. I am the GM of Carolina, and you guys are the fans watching. So um, let's go look at the line, see what we have. So before, um, like I said, uh, before, like I said, I think we lost one game in preseason, and then we got skunked in the game. But every other game that we played pretty much uh, was very, it was a good game. Like it was, we blew them out of the water. So, uh, going into the season, we should, and, uh, you know, hopefully, we should have the same kind of, um, should have the same kind of, I'm at a loss for words, what's the word I'm looking for? Should have the same kind of expectations. So, you know, with the signing of Sawyer and Michael Ryder and picking up O'Sullivan and Howes, and I think, uh, Nodell, I believe we're in good shape. Now, um, with Bowman, I might want to drop him down because in the... Um, in the two months that I did, he didn't get a single point, but that's okay because he's a rookie, so it's understandable. I was trying to get him experience in the leagues, so that way he would be able to re be ready for next year's uh, next season. But, I mean, if we're going for a playoff run right now, which I'm trying to do, I'm trying to win a cup because we have the players to win a cup. We definitely have the players to win a cup. Um, what I'm trying to do, we're going to have to drop Bowman down to the... Uh, to the um, uh, we're going to have to drop Bowman down to the... AHL, and uh, actually, I might have to keep Bowman up or sign someone. You know, Mark Stahl is 65. He might be ready next year to come up. Justin Shug um, might be might be ready next year to come up. If these guys are in 70s, they can come up next year. Uh, Victor Rask, centerman, 60. Ryan Murphy should definitely be better than what he is right now. He's only at 59. He's uh, proved to be better than that uh, from what I've watched him play in real life and other and other things. Um, same thing with Justin Shug. I know. Um, he should be ready by next year. Good player in real life. Don't know much about the game, though. Um, so, yeah, Bowman is the only rookie that we have. So, he might be on the NHL. And depending on, hopefully, in this, uh, I want to see what we have in the free agency. Because I might be able to sign someone um, for um, just for a year just to pick him up. So, we have, uh, yeah, we don't really have much demon in the free agency. Like Montgomery. Um, and these guys are like 25, so it's not a bad pickup. It's not a bad pickup. This guy can get better, I'm pretty sure. Um, these guys are all minor top two D men. Um, they're they're not even projected to be a a uh, forward like fourth liner or third third line D men, third string. These guys are projected minor top two is what they're looking for. So getting getting in the pros would be a big step up for them. Um, would they be able to handle it? Is a question. I think the these guys were all you know NHL players, but the games rank them as minor uh, top two. Patrick Elias being a second line sniper. Um, I mean, we could probably sign him. We have two million dollars. He wants three million. Um, Todd Bertuzzi also wants two million. Uh, Blake wants one as a fourth liner. But uh, you know, this uh, Jonas Anolov guy might be. He might have a good fit for us. So like, let's just see what his uh, 
stuff uh, his defensive category is. So he's got 82 defensive awareness. Face-offs, not really big deal because he's not going to be taking those. Shot blocking is at 89. Stick checking is at 81. That's pretty good. His physical categories are looking good. Looking good in the physical category. His uh, shot, his slap shot power is up there, but his accuracy is shit. So that'll, be, that'll get changed while he's in the... Uh, um, hopefully that'll get changed while he's in the uh, pros. Um, I'm pretty sure that he's going to stay roughly around what he is. I kind of want to see if there's going to be anybody better potential-wise. Um, that's a demon. No, okay, so he's the best one. Um, he's about a three-star overall, so he's like your average player. Um, I'm going to offer him a contract, see if we can get him signed. Uh, bring him on the team just for the one year. Just, uh, you know, give Bowman his proper uh, AHL year to uh, learn the ropes and whatnot. So I think if I advance one day up to the thing, I might get a contract back. Hopefully I do, so I can put him on the thing. Okay, so I did. I got him on the roster. Um, so now what I need to do is I need to... I think I might have a spot for him, actually. So I just have to go into the lines. And the defensive lines. And see if he's on up here. Uh, Westgrath, is that his name? No. Mm. Is he in the minors? He might be in the minors. Yeah, I might just have to do a quick little switch between the two, and uh, yeah, he's in the minors. So I'm going to do a quick little switch. Uh, wait, he's got to go through players to come up? Oh, no, no, he doesn't have to go. I was going to say, when is that a rule? All right, Bowman can go down in the minors. Okay, so that's good. Um, edit lines manually. Actually, just for shits and giggles, I want to see what they would, if I go to best lines, what they're going to give me, if they're going to change anything. No, they don't change anything offensively, and they throw him next to Falk. Um, but what I do want to do, because I know this Tulsa guy is going to score a lot, I want to move LaRose up to the second line. Um, he's a grinder, you know, playmaker. Oh, uh, no, I want to put Sullivan up there with two playmakers. Um, Eric Stahl is a sniper, 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 playmaker, uh, two-way grinder, playmaker, playmaker, sniper. So, yeah, this looks good. Like, with the position-wise, these guys should be able to hold thing down and you have your offensive demon which i'm going to move sore up to do a d uh, defensive and offensive pack no i want big bane on the first line move picking in down for glason uh sawyer and picking in on the second line and then these two guys two forward and a defensive demon this way we keep everything uh pretty balanced in that categories uh so we got cam ward and peters um that are two good guys there's one guy who i can't remember his name um name of him right now he's a rookie as a, listed as a d-man but he has the categories to play as an offensive skater and i can't remember his name right now so i'm gonna you know do some scouting online for the next time that i sit down and record see if i can find his name and see if i can pick him up in a trade so uh we're gonna do this first month hopefully uh things go better than when i recorded the first time and uh hopefully because i think i was five five and one at the end of the first month all right, so we're 0-1, so things aren't even going good. Things aren't going our way, but Pittsburgh's lost a game. Hopefully, we can pick up the W. We do. All right, so McBain's got two goals. The D-man's leading in goals. We can't have that right now. Pick up another win there. Nice five-goal uh, five night. O'Sullivan, Patrick O'Sullivan, I think his second line right wing. Got three goals. That's pretty good. So pick up a, pick up a win against Florida. All right, picked up a win against Florida. Three and one. I can live with that. I can live with that. O'Sullivan is definitely leading out there in goals, which is a little bit weird. All right. Islanders look good. Doesn't matter. We stomp them anyways. Uh, Skinner's got four. Okay, we should. We got to beat the Rangers. Oh my God, we lost three nothing to the Rangers. Are you kidding me? They didn't won a game yet. We just sat there and lost. That's embarrassing. Okay, so we got the Montreal Canadiens. We're playing next. Hopefully, you know we can get a win. Make five two. Five and two would be nice. Or loss. You know, five and three. So it looks like we're doing the same thing. Four and four. Come on, beat Philly. Beat Philly, and we lost to Philly. So we're four three, but lost in overtime. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. Lost in overtime. Four three and one. I think that was pretty much like the same thing as we had last last simulation um, that I did. I'm just constantly checking over to make sure everything is going correct and that nothing hiccups. So yeah, the Winnipeg Jets killed it last year in the in the simulation I did last time. It doesn't matter. We're gonna stomp them down. Jess Skinner's got five goals. Uh, okay, and we're got, we've lost to Montreal by four uh, three goals each time. So hopefully we beat Boston, who's playing really good, and we do. And I think we're going to go up. So we're 6-4-1 and one at the break. Uh, let's take a look at the let's take a look at the player stats. or no, Let's take a look at team standing as we'll look where we are. So we're 18th in the league. That's, that's not the greatest. We are 18th in the league and 18th in the Eastern, not 18th in the Eastern Conference. 
but we are one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're tenth in the Eastern Conference. So we're two away from this playoff spot. But I mean, this is the first month, so it's not nothing to be completely scared about right now. Um, but what I do want to look at, so you know, we're six, four, and one. It's not too bad. Um, point percentage of 59, 31 goals for, and 27 goals against. So we're doing pretty good on keeping the puck out of the net. Um, we need to score more goals, though, is what the problem is. Like, I mean, if you look at these teams that are in the top spots, uh, I don't know how the Rangers are in the top spot. They, oh, my God, the Rangers came back. They hadn't lost a game. They must have won on an eight-game winning streak. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, starting with us, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so the Rangers have 30 goals for and 21 goals against. They're the only team that's an exception. If you look, they all these teams all have 40 goals. That's, uh, that's making them up, the, up there higher in the ranks. And we have 31. Now, 27 goals against is also good because all of these teams also has 40 goals against. So they're pretty much playing like even nights. We're playing uh, more, predominant, more predominant nights. Now, we have uh, 7 power play goals and 43 power plays for 16% 16 power, 16 power play. Uh, it's not terrible. I'd rather it be at a 20% or something like that. Um, zero shorties and 10 power plays against and uh, time shorthanded or, uh, we, or power, play, power play goals against. We've been short. We've been uh, got caught 56 times and they let in, they've let in 10. So we're 82%, which it's not bad. I mean, we could be Washington with a 65%, but I'd rather see like an 85 or higher uh, penalty kill percentage. So that's not what we're letting in the goals. Um, shorthanded goals for zero, so we're not, you know, we're not getting any goals shorthanded. Uh, we're three and three at home and four and two on the road, and we're five and five in the last ten games. So we're pretty much playing even. Um, I would say like the only thing that is making our our team not get the W is the offensive category. That would be the only thing that I would suggest um, that we need to bump up. But uh, you know, we'll look at that. We'll look at that. We'll look at that. Um, so let's see. So yeah, he's already got a point, so it was a better sign than Bowman. So Jeff Skinner's got seven goals in eleven games. Um, he's basically our point of game player right now. P uh, Patty O'Sullivan's got nine points in eleven games. It isn't bad. Seven's got eight. Um, Eric Stahl shit in the bed with four points. Come on, Stahl, you're the captain. You got to do better than that. Um, UC Okanen's got six points. So um, yeah, goal wise. McBain's got two, and he got two at the beginning of the season for a D-man, which is good. He's at the lead. Assists. Looking at McBain, he's gonna. I'm telling you, McBain's gonna take assists this year. He's a great player that we have on our team and an organization. Um, I think he's at like an 86 right now, so that's good. Um, Jeff Skinner, you know, five assists. Michael Ryder also at five assists. I might want to move Ryder and O'Sullivan around. Um, I might want to try that, see if it jump starts anything. Maybe play around with Jordan Stahl and. Uh, Jordan Stahl and uh, whoever the second line, second and third line centers are, do that. Point wise, Jeff Skinner's leading. O'Sullivan's got nine penalty minutes. Michael Soares taking the most penalty minutes. Uh, Jordan Stahl's taking twelve, which isn't good. And Eric Stahl's taking ten. So uh, we can't have, we can't be having that. Um, plus five power play goals. Uh, Tulsi, yeah, Yuri Tulsi. Uh, he's got three power play goals, which is good. He's good on the power play, so I want him out there on my first power play line. And uh, nobody's got a shorty yet. Uh, game winning goals go to all these guys. Game tying goals, no yet. Uh, shots, Michael Ryder's leading in shots. Um, Jeff Skinner, so high to shoot percentage. O'Sullivan's pretty much shooting 30%, which is good. Skinner's got 23, and everybody else is in like the 10 category. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch some things around. Is what I'm gonna do in the lines right now. So if we go to the lines, um. So I want to move Michael Ryder down and move uh, O'Sullivan up to do, uh, you know, this line's going to be three snipers, which isn't good. Um, so that's why I kind of want to move Jeff Skinner up to the first line and move Eric Stahl down to the second line. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, Eric Stahl, but uh, uh, Eric Stahl on the second line. But I, Eric, you get a playmaker and two snipers, um, you know, with UC Okanen and uh, Michael Ryder. Hopefully, like, <laughs> hopefully Eric Stahl can jump kick something there. Jordan Stahl, I want to move him with Tosley. And uh, switch that around. Um, two way forward in Jordan Stahl, sniper and a playmaker. So hopefully that changes. And a playmaker and a two way forward and a grinder. So you know maybe 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 uh, Tusley can set up uh, Rutu or LaRoche for something. You know what I mean? O'Sullivan's moved himself up to the first line after that performance. You know defensive lines. I can't really change much on the defensive line. Uh, power play. I think I said I wanted Tusley. Uh, correct me if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, I wanted Tusley in the first uh, the first power play because of how many power play goals he has. Semin and Skinner is good. McBain and Pickin and uh, Stahl. 
um, keep him out there. But uh, four man power play two. I want Tesley on all power play lines because of what he's put up so far. I want to keep also. I want to keep Skinner on the power play somewhere. So take out Jordan Stahl and put Jeff Skinner out there. Uh, because just be, they're getting the most power play goals, so that's what I want. So penalty to kill. This is good. Um, Jeff Skinner and Eric Stahl on the penalty kill and Jordan Stahl. Okay, that's good. Jordan Stahl on three man penalty kill and Tiomo Rutu. Okay, they're both two ways, so they can play that way. Um, Stahl and Skinner, uh, Ryder and Semin, four and four lines. So I don't need anything like that. Four and four lines, good like there. Um, those guys some attack. Uh, Eric Stahl and Jamie McBain as extra attackers. Which Jamie? Why is Jamie McBain an extra attacker? He's a centerman. I want uh, Jeff Skinner as an extra attacker, and then uh, Cam Ward and Peters in net. So uh, yeah, that should be good. If uh, you know we start losing games, I will put it back to the way it was. Uh, let me know what you guys think I should do for the lines in the co in the comment section. You know, if I'm doing something wrong, let me know because uh, I might be. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna simulate another month ahead here, go into December, and hopefully you know those line change change it around and we can pick up a uh, pick up wins, like a streak of wins here. So if we win here. Okay, we did. We won three, uh, three to one. Not sure we got the goals, but Jeff Skinner's got seven, and McBain's got seven assists. So uh, that's good, really good. Whole, if if we win a bunch more games, then I'm gonna keep the lines the way that they are now because obviously things are working out in our favor. Um, if we don't, uh, I'm gonna change them up. Probably put them back to the way they are. But uh, looks like we won one against New Jersey, and if we win up against Buffalo, who outed us first round last year, if we win this game against Buffalo, which we should, three seven and two. Hopefully we win it. Come on, boys. There you go. 2-1-1. It's not the greatest, biggest deficit, but, you know, a W is a W when it comes down to the end of the day. So, yep, draft class is going to be good this year. 9-6 and six Flyers. If we beat these guys, then the line change is good. Okay, we lost 5-2. Now, I'm not sure if that's because the Flyers just have a better offensive-minded te team than we do, but uh, this is what's going to show right here. The Winnipeg Jets. If we win both these games or win one, then things will be good. Okay, so we won one nothing. so the defense saved our ass in that game, and the defense saved our ass in the game after that. So it shows that Winnipeg doesn't have a good team against defense, but they have a gooder team against offense. So Florida's a good team, too. <laughs> Hopefully we can win against them, and we do. We won against Florida, so that's good. So I'm going to keep these lines the way they have because I think we what, what, lost one game. In the past, like, five or two games against the Boston. But we lost by, like, one goal. And I think it was an overtime, too. So, it was an overtime loss. So, there's offense that lost that game. Okay, so we got our asses fucking handed to us by the Islanders, which isn't good. <laughs> that was that was bad. Offense didn't didn't come that night. Okay, so that's three losses in a row. Just as I'm, just as I'm starting to praise the offense, they go and they shit their bed three losses in a row. If they lose all the rest of these games, too, things are going to go bad. You know, beat Florida. Come on, beat Florida. And they lost. All right, hold on, hold on. Don't, 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 don't. And of course it does. I love it when it does that. I hold the Y button starting here, and it goes to this game. It stops here. It doesn't make any sense. Um, so, you know, we had a good stretch there for a little while. We'd beaten all these teams. We'd beaten these two, uh, three good teams in a row. We beat uh, Buffalo. Beat, uh, we, so in like the five games that we had, or the three weeks, we lost one game in three weeks. So that was good. And then, you know, we lost all these games, lost these games. We've let, we, we've, I think we've lost five. The last five games, we haven't won. Um, so what I want to do is I want to give Cam Ward a break. I want to give Cam Ward a break because I don't know if, that, if it does it automatically. I just want to switch him out for Peters, give Peters the start, and uh, I'll evaluate and then change lines again. Uh, after this month is done. See, uh, you know, if we give Peters the start over here, if he does something against Philly, I'm um, not really sure if he's going to, but the way it's going now, which we can go 11, 10, and whatnot. All right, so yeah, Peters got fucking destroyed, but you know, Cam Ward needs the rest. He's been in there for a little while. Um, give him another break tonight, and we're probably gonna lose this game. If we beat Boston, that'll be a miracle. Uh, okay, we beat Boston, so that was an actual miracle, and we beat them by a lot too. So you know, Peters is a decent backup who can go in. Obviously, not against Philadelphia, because Philadelphia is fucking. I don't know. They're Using some kind of steroids there in Philly. I don't know what their coach is doing and what the GM says is okay, but that's not okay here. So we're going to give Cam Ward back out there um, for the next month. I'm going to split these up into two videos. Um, probably do another month here. Okay, so let's actually... So, so we're still positive. I think we're actually dead even right now. 12 and 12. Um, so let's look up... Crap, how do you do this? It's stats and then team standings. Okay, so we're 16. So we bumped up two positions... 
and let's look at Eastern Conference. So I think we are actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're in a playoff spot as of two months in. That's good. We're in a playoff spot right now. So, you know, we're in the top eight, and that's good for me. I'm happy about that. Um, still 16th in the league. I would rather be in, like, the, 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 the top ten, but uh, I can do a 16th in the league and take the playoffs. I am pulling LA Kings from last year, and they're having a shitty season this year, but, uh, you know, I can do an LA Kings and go and win the Stanley Cup after that. So, you know, we've, uh, we've, uh, 11, actually, not 12. We've got 27 points.